And Korea's consumer price growth remained stuck in the 0% range for the 10th consecutive month in September, due in large part to continuing low oil prices. Guan Sua reports. At 110.04, Korea's consumer price index rose by 0.6% in September from the same month a year ago. According to Statistics Korea Friday, it's the 10th straight month the country has posted negative growth since December's 0.8% rise, keeping concerns alive that the nation is on a deflationary track. Low global oil prices are seen as the main culprit of sluggish growth in domestic prices. Oil product prices plummeted almost 19 percent on year, influencing gas, electricity and water prices, which fell to almost 10 percent. However, Statistics Korea says oil prices have had more of an impact on domestic inflation rates in the first half of the year. Because global oil prices began to plunge significantly in the fourth quarter of last year, we're seeing an improvement in consumer prices in the second half of this year as a base effect is appearing. And when it comes to core inflation, prices that exclude the oil and food sectors, a growth of 2.1 percent was posted in September, remaining the same as August. Service prices rose similarly by 2 percent on year due to higher public transportation fees, and the housing market saw increases as well. The Ministry of Strategy and Finance said Thursday the government will closely monitor global oil prices and weather conditions for the remainder of the year and focus on managing prices closely related to daily spending such as food, energy, medical services, education and housing. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.